Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I wanted to take a look at a very good homebrew game for the PSP and this one is called A Cave Story. So let's take a look at it here real quick. And it's one of the best homebrew games for the PSP. And this one is actually released for a lot of different platforms. And we're going to take a look at it and how the gameplay is and also how to install this game and right now I'm running this game off my PSP 3000 which has custom firmware of 6.61 Pro C2 Infinity 2.0 and it's working just fine it's the latest and greatest custom firmware right now and yeah it's running smoothly and I don't see any really bugs when it comes to playing this game so let's take a look at how we can install this game. It's fairly simple, so let's go to our USB connection and connect it to our PC here real quick. And we're gonna go to our desktop. There we go, here is our USB drive. And now go to the first link in the description down below and that will take you to cavestory.org. And we wanna go to the downloads link here and we're going to scroll down and find the PSP link as you can see this one is released for all sorts of different games even for the Motorola phone and there's the Raspberry Pi so here is PSP Cave Story PSP by UFO underscore Z and you can click on this and click here to download your attachment perfect Let's show in our folder. Here it is, and we're gonna right click, extract the files. Here we go. And if you don't have an extracting program, I will have 7-zip for you in the description down below. So here is Cave Story. Open that folder up, and within that folder, you'll have the Cave Story folder, and you'll have the eBoot and data. So what we wanna do is go into our PSP game folder, and copy this one over but if you're using a plugin called categories light or categories and you have subfolders to categorize all your different games and stuff like that like how I have it here you want to throw it in your homebrew game section if you do have one or whichever folder uh, works for you I already have this game so I'm not going to copy it over now let's head back to our PSP here we go let's go under our game section and go to the folder or the game if you have it available right away and it should say cave story with the thumbnail and it's not a large game it should take I don't know less than a minute for it to copy over oops sorry about that studio pixels presents wow it's great so this game got a lot of good feedback and everyone says it's one of the best homebrew games for the PSP so we have new load language keys exit cave story Doxtu Monogatari 2004.12 studio panel version 1.0.0.7 let's start a new game and I have to press circle in order to enter that. From somewhere, a transmission. Connecting to network. So I think it's a side-scrolling game. Sue, you there? It's me, Kazuma. I managed to get away somehow, but I've gotten lost. I found a shelter, but there's nothing here. If you can hear me, please answer, please. Here's our start point. And my guy just fell off on his own there. I don't like that. And that was a very strange way to start. And I think I must have been pressing the wrong button, but this is where we're starting. And we can jump by pressing O. And if we hit uh, square, we have our arms, our items. Sorry, I just burped there for a second. Uh, triangle, nothing, left and right doesn't do anything. You press select, nothing, you press start. We have the start or pause. And I believe this is water because it says air. And we are in a cave, so I would think it's water. And we got this 
this moving diamond and a heart. So I'm gonna press all the buttons here. See what we got going on. Oh, so I just press down. Do you want to save? Sure. Okay, so pressing down is gonna be how we interact with different objects. I'm sure that we're gonna have to press down on this door. Yep. So yeah, pressing down is gonna be your uh, interaction or whatever you want to call it. What happens if I jump on this guy? Oh crap, he's after me. Can I kill him? I guess not. Okay, I'm gonna have to juke him. So he sees me. And okay. Alright. Should I refill all my health here? Let's go back. That was a mistake. I was hoping I could just jump on him like Mario or something, but I guess that's not the case. So these little squares with the uh, heart refills your your health. And at the top I have level zero and three hearts. Okay, so let's be careful not to touch those. Anything sharp I see, I know I'm just gonna get damage. And nothing, I can't touch anything moving because I don't have any weapons. So I'm just not even gonna bother with that. Okay, let's see if we can get to that heart over there. Got a life capsule. All right. Max health increased by three. Oh, nice, so now we're at six hearts. Okay, hopefully those are just different levels before we actually die. Oh, this is gonna be really tough. I'm gonna have to jump all of this. Whoa, he really jumped that. And we got a cougar here. We got a black cougar. Oh, I just went in. The Hermit Gunsmith. Snore. So he's sleeping, there's a chest. Open the chest. Got the polar star. From somewhere a transmission. Okay. Searching for user Sue. I, one user Sue found. Okay. Sue, please respond. They're looking for you. Are you asleep? Your brother is so lonely. It's very strange. Oh, we can shoot now. Do we have unlimited ammo? Oh my god, yes, this is gonna be a lot of fun. So I can go back and kill stuff? I wonder if this is an entrance to somewhere. Probably not, I think we're gonna have to go all the way back. So if you press down anywhere, he's just gonna question mark like, what are you talking about, guy? What are you talking about, guy? Oh, look at that. Okay, so it takes a couple hits to kill that jumping cat or whatever the hell that thing is. And let's jump, perfect. Oh, it doesn't go that far, so you have to be pretty close to shoot and kill. And you collect these hearts, and I see that level, I'm level one now, I'm not level zero. So do you gain experience by killing? Oh, okay, so you collect those diamonds, can I press up? Oh, nice. So I'll do this here. What does the hearts do? I guess that's just to heal you. And these little gems or these orange gems are gonna be to level you up, I'm guessing. Oh, perfect, so we can't kill this guy over here. And open this all up. So we're gonna have to kill all these guys here. Perfect. Well, this is a this is a lot of fun. Oh, don't disappear. Very good. Whoa, what the hell? There's an eye on the door. Oh wow, he really took a lot of health from me. Sue, answer me. So I don't want to take too long in this gameplay. And I just wanted to share with you this homebrew game. 
I think it's a lot of fun. And oh, it's gonna get better. Hand over the key. No, I won't. I think that's Sue. Are you trying to protect Sue? She's a stranger. She's not one of us. Sue's a good person. I'd never betray her. Are we a girl or a guy? When doctor comes, you know. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Is that, am I Sue? Ha, <laughs> you got knocked out. You're not an enemy, I thought for sure it was then. I'm king. I'm the number one in this village. Not that means a whole lot with a six of us left. She's not one of us though. She's an outsider. Showed up recently. Okay, so I am Sue. Okay, yeah, I am Sue. Interesting. Can I save in here? Do you want to save? Yes. Refill on health. Perfect. So that is pretty much it for this gameplay, guys. If you would like to see a full gameplay, let me know in the comment section down below. And let me know what you think of this game. It's, I believe it's, it is one of the best homebrew games because it's very polished. It seems like a lot of fun, even though I just played it for like 10 minutes. But I can see how intricate some of these levels can be, as you can see. I love when games are just so polished like this. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, so let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions, comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.